As a result of the Senate runoffs in Georgia, Democrats will take control of the U.S. Senate, which gives them a majority in both houses of Congress. This shifts the policy outlook moderately to the left, but majorities are still razor thin, giving moderates heavy influence. We also envision a potential move towards increased bipartisanship, which may bring more clarity to policy in 2021. Historically, which party occupied the White House or controlled Congress hasn't had a meaningful impact on broad stock market performance. Policy matters, but larger economic forces are much more influential. Businesses are very good at adapting to different political environments. Having an environment where it's easier to start or run a business can make a big difference in people's lives, but the policy impact on markets tends to be more focused. Furthermore, markets historically have seemed to prefer a divided government, whether because it removes the extremes or it encourages a spirit of compromise. At the same time, market performance when Democrats have held the presidency and controlled both the House and the Senate has been in line with longer term historical returns. The distribution of power in Washington, D.C. by itself does not mean a lot, especially since voters have the chance to change the balance of power every two years. So with that being said, the most important shift in policy expectations following the Georgia runoffs are around taxes, regulation, and stimulus prospects. So business taxes will almost certainly increase due to the new makeup of Congress. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017 lowered the top corporate tax rate from 35 to 21 percent. The top tax rate is likely to be raised around 25 to 27 percent, although the timing may be delayed depending on the economic recovery. When an increase is imposed, the hit to the corporate profits potentially could be around 5 percent. A Democratic majority in the Senate will also have regulatory implications. First, it would make it easier for President Joe Biden to confirm cabinet members more tilted towards the left wing of the party. The majority party in the Senate also has considerable power to review regulation. Environmental regulations and labor standards probably will be a focus, likely reversing many Trump administration deregulatory efforts. Democratic control of the Senate also will make it easier to pass additional stimulus measures, although again, a slim majority may limit the scope. The most recent stimulus package was passed at the end of 2020, and that was for $900 billion. Democrats may try to pass an additional package of approximately $1 trillion or more. Passing some kind of infrastructure bill where there will be some areas of bipartisan support also may become more likely. Markets are likely to applaud potential economic benefits of the additional stimulus in the near term, but it will also push deficits higher and may weigh on the economy over the longer run. Remember, we are still in a state of transition. Things are moving fluidly as regulations and laws change. We will do our best to let you know how it directly affects you. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you soon.